If I was your coach, here are three things I'd have you do. Number one, first, go through some of that self-evaluation that I mentioned earlier in the article. Give your lifestyle a hard look. Like I said, write it down, put it on paper, uh, and determine what is actually going to be feasible for you. From an exercise standpoint, number two, evaluate some of the things that you like and you dislike. Because having a list of what you enjoy and also a list of maybe what you hate with exercise, that can start providing a clear picture on what's going to be sustainable for you. And as I mentioned earlier, sustainability is key. If you don't enjoy it, you're not going to stick to it. And if you're not going to stick to it, you're not going to see progress. So we need something that you can do consistently. If you like it, there's a good chance you're going to stick to it for the long haul. And if you give yourself time, you're going to have a better chance of seeing progress. And number three, start on the lower end of what you think is feasible and slowly and incrementally add to that over time. I went into that quite a bit earlier about starting conservatively and adding is better than starting too aggressively and trying to subtract. Uh, a couple of things, you know, that, that are, we can dive a little deeper into in terms of what specific exercises to do. Uh, the physical activity guidelines for Americans, by the way, this is put out like every 10 years, I think. If you just Google that, you'll find a, I mean, it's a PDF of like, I don't know, 50 or 100, it's crazy, crazy long. Uh, but if you ever want to read it, there's some interesting stuff in there. Um, it's not like the gospel for uh, exercise, but it certainly has some good information. Some of it, uh, you know, I think we maybe shouldn't lean on, but some of it I think we should. And and one of which is just like exercise frequency and exercise duration. I think there's some good stuff in there. And um, those guidelines suggest that adults do two or more days of strength training a week. And I think that's a great place to start. So if you're not doing any strength training, start with two days. Try to do two days a week and see how it feels. And you could break those into an upper body day and a lower body day. And there there you go. You're hitting the entire, uh, all, all the muscle groups throughout your body and you're getting in some good work. Focus on compound exercises, the ma major motor patterns like uh, pressing, rowing, squatting, pulling, stuff like that. It can be very, very basic. Um, and then from those same guidelines, I'd recommend picking another two days and doing some low intensity cardiovascular training. So this could be walking, jogging, going for bike rides, some of that stuff we mentioned earlier gets you up and moving. It's something you can do sustainably. It's not, these aren't things that are going to make you so tired or sore that you can't continue with them. Um, so that's why they're so great because you can walk every day. <laughs> I mean, Walking is probably the best exercise known to man because you could do it every day. It's not going to break you down. It's going to build you up. These are the types of things we're trying to do here. Uh, the goal is not to maximally overload yourself every day and every week. Instead, try to overload yourself slowly over time by incrementally adding more to your routine. And unfortunately, the way people tend to do this weight loss thing is they do the exact opposite of what I just said. You want to lose weight, you want to do it right now, so we're going to do as much as possible every day of the week, and that that hardly ever works out. And, and if it does work out and somebody can lose 30 or 40 pounds on it, unfortunately, you know, the data shows that three to five years down the road, that same person has put most of that weight back on, and that's because they did not do it sustainably. And that's why I want to coach people <laughs> and why I do coach people, because I hate to see people do that. I hate to see people put all that effort in, but do it unsustainably. And then, you know, they're, they're back to the drawing board several years later. So let's do things sustainably. Okay. 